Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. So here, as usual, I'm going to go through a complete walkthrough of the C1 paper and this is set from May or June 2018. And actually, I've already gone through quite a lot of this paper and I'll tell you right now that this paper overall is pretty good. Not as bad as um, the previous is. So thankfully, that's good news. And don't forget, this is going to be probably the second last paper before the final sitting in 2019. If, well, when you see this future, we're not there yet already. <laughs> but anyway, let's go through each question. And as usual, I've covered a lot of these questions. I'm just going to go and show you how I did each one. So let's begin. Number one. So simplify the square root of 48 minus 6 over root 3. Write your answer in the form a root 3, where a is an integer to be found. So I've already obtained the answer here. But the key idea is to always work, always try and break down each of these two components. So first, we're going to try and break down root 48 and then 6 over root 3 and simplify these both to get a nice, simple third. So looking at root 48, my tip is to always use factor trees. And that is to always break them down into products. So 48 can be seen as 2 times 24, so put, them, put some nice thirds on both of them. And 24 can be broken down as 2 and 12. 12 can be broken down as 2 times 6. And 6 can be broken down as 2 times 3. The most important thing is, is that when you break these down to the lowest numbers, these are always going to be prime. Because once you get to prime numbers, you can't go down. And now to actually obtain the result, all you have to do is simply circle all the values you got. Okay, all your final segments and then see if you can make whole numbers. To make whole numbers, if you get two similar cells like root 2 root 2, these can combine to make a whole 2. These two root 2s again combine to make a whole 2. So now we've got 2 times 2 which is 4. And finally, you got root 3. So the answer here will be 2 times 2 times root 3, which is 4 root 3. Remember, 2 twos make 4 and then stick root 3. Easy stuff. Now, for the next bit, 6 of root 3, we have to rationalize it. In other words, you can see that there's no root 3 to the bottom, so we need to times up and down by root 3. That's all. We always do this. Every single procedure always times up and down by whatever's at the bottom. If it's something like root 3 plus 1, then you have to times up and down by root 3 minus 1. Because the key idea here is that what it does is that it will automatically clear the bomb so there's no more thirds. Anyway, for this one, timesing up and down, 6 times root 3 will of course give us 6 root 3. And then root 3 times root 3, just like the previous one, will give us a whole 3. Because 2 of the similar thirds give us whole. And then cancelling down this down, 6 over 3 is 2, so it's 2 root 3. And that's it. So the final answer is the first term minus second term. So 4 root 3 minus 2 root 3 will so give us 2 root 3 itself. Done. Now, let's look at part 2. So the next question. So we've got 3 to the power 6x minus 3 equals the whole number 81. Okay, so we've got powers and in, indices and holes. So write your answer as a rational number. Okay, so here's our final result. Now the trick is, is to firstly look at these numbers and think, what do I do? Because you're not using logs from C2, the key idea is to firstly recognize that 81 is a, is, a, is a solution of a power of 3. We need to firstly realize that 81 is the same as 3 to the power of 4. And you can only solve these kind of questions if you have the same base. So we need to work in bases of 3. So essentially we have 3 to the power 6x minus 3 equals 3 to the power 4. And because we've got the same bases, we can assume that this 4 must be equal to 6x minus 3. And that's exactly what we get here. Okay, so I just put a little, and this is just little observation skills. So once you do this, this is easy maths. Just plus 3 across, you get 7. Divide 6, you get 7 over 6. And that's it. All done. Well, guys, if you like this video so far, you know, give me a like. Um, I'm going to do, I'm just doing this um carefully, step by step, so, you know, there's nobody missing out. But anyways, if you're enjoying this, give me a like, subscribe, share with your friends. Otherwise, let's move on.